Stumpa da dumpa dumpa. It's movie poopy. Hey everyone, welcome back to Phoenix 96. Hi! <laughs> yeah, I... Witness, you can't just fast forward. Yeah. Name. What's your name? All right, of, of course. Da 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 Objection. Okay, first off. Oh, man. Very well. What's... All right. How the fuck would you know this? <laughs> Suspect data. Tell me how the fuck you would know that, though. Because it's true. Fuck you. There is no way you would know that without just going through a million times until you get it. You can read it. Fuck you. It's on the suspect data page. Um. This page has all the information about Yanti Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiancé committed suicide, see? Ah, indeed, it does say that, yeah? What was his fiancé's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, Your Honor. He remembered the name of his fiancé who committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is impossible. Eh, a mere coincidence is all. My granddaughter has a my granddaughter has a dog she named Phoenix. That's a fucking weird name. <laughs> well, Mr. Phoenix, right? Does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? <laughs> she's only se she's only seven years old. <laughs> uh indeed. Um, hello. <laughs> you can just skate over that. <laughs> Alone in this little we in this. Uh, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We would need some other corrob corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? <laughs> Nick, we're getting closer. One more. If we could just get one more piece of evidence. Right. But what? Hmm. Very well, witness. We continue. One more. One other. God fucking bitch. Oh, fuck you. There's no way that's my fault. It is your fault. It's entirely your fault, Pratt. Present, present it my badge. <laughs> Don't. Can we skip, let's skip this. Oh, okay. I thought that was a new thing. Uh, what is the safe number? Huh? Mm -hmm. The safe? Why? Let's just try to get you to say anything, okay? Polly, what was the number of the safe in the shack? Oh, one, two, two, eight. One, two, two, eight. Oh. My, what a reckless parrot. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Actually, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this is just something random. Actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Because 1228 rearranges DL6. <laughs> How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof. What could possibly link this to the caretaker's true identity? DL6. Take that! The DL6 case file? What an obsession you have with that case. Mr. Wright, where in this file is something uh, relating to that safe number? Hold the balls up. How? Oh, fuck this. There, there's case summary. Okay. <laughs> I clicked the right one. It's on the case summary page. The case su Dog, shut up. I will kill you. I will kill you, dog. I won't actually kill him. That would be illegal. And the case summary? Oh, shut up. Specifically, the date on which the DL6 incident occurred. The date of the incident? December 28th? Well, that's today's date, 15 years ago. And the number on that safe is 1226. 28. Ah! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important the date was to him. Was to, yes. Was to him? He was was to him? Was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. Objection. Bah, this is not tangible proof. See, my ATM card is 001 because I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing to do with a date. Nothing! <laughs> also, you told I just told you my PIN number. That's true. <laughs> Which is something you're not supposed to do. That's <laughs> not even a little. <laughs> That's enough. I think we've reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence. That is all. 
True, that is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more than like a pattern to me. Wait, what are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately. We got him! Ants, we're doing it! Witness. Tell us your name. Objection. Wait. This witness, he does not remember. No. It's okay. What? Whoa! He's different now. I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. Nick, he looks totally different. He's like standing. That's the real Yogi, I think. Finally. He's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. Well, well. Let me ask you again. Please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. Oh my god! It's time to do 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 Ow, stop. <laughs> Fifteen years- oh. Fifteen years ago I served as bailiff in this very court. Oh my god. Uh, order, order. Yanni Yogi. So was it you who killed Robert Hammond? And tried to frame Miles Edgeworth for his death? I did it. Well, case over then. <laughs> okay. Hmm. They put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond. He said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent. Get me off the hook. So, I pretended to have brain damage. I was innocent, really. But he didn't believe me. We won the trial. But I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiancé, my social standing. Then this year, 15 years later, a package arrives. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care who had sent it. I thought it was my chance after 15 years. This was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I had no regrets. W wait a moment. Revenge against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Wait, is that the end? Vaughn, Karma, where is Mr. Yogi? Under arrest, Your Honor. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, is... Innocent. In this case, at least. Huh. That feels anticlimactic. There's gotta be something else going on here. Very well. No, very well. Um, will the defendant please take the stand? Oh, we're, we're still going? <laughs> there are a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, uh, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. God damn it. Now we're going into the Edwards DL6 thing. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hammond in any case. Any objections? No. No. I don't believe it. Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, not guilty. Until 10 seconds from now. Yay! Yeah. Confetti! <laughs> I love how they put that in the anime. That, that is, is all. The court is adjourned. Someone's gonna say wait. Someone's gonna say wait. There we objection. go. Objection! Oh, god damn it. Did, did someone just say objection? It wasn't Von Karma. But that means... Edgeworth, no. no! Edgeworth? Your Honor, I object to your judgment. W what do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. We have heard Yanti Yogi killed Robert Hammond in revenge. Oh my god. But revenge for what? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Nick! Edgeworth is trying to confess. He's going to say he's guilty. He's going to tell them he was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He's going to tell them he killed his own dad. Uh oh. What should I do? Wait, hold, hold we up. We have to object. Hold up. We have to hold object. Up. There's no way. Oh, wait. There's, you have to object to this. Hold up. Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Objection! The judgment has already been passed. I object to Edwards' outburst. Objection! <laughs> Didn't something like this happen yesterday, too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. 
that would be Larry. <laughs> we must hear this new statement. We must hear Miles Edgeworth. He's right. We have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. <laughs> For 15 years, I've had a recurring dream. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now, it wasn't a dream. Yaki Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean in the instant where your father died? From a distant shot. It wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer. The criminal in the D06 incident. It was me. Your Honor, I confess to my guilt. I am guilty for DL6. The statute of limitation ends today. The culprit is me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to prove him innocent. Is is fucking Fatworth gonna come in like, hey, I just found a MacGuffin that happened to stumble. Order, order. This is certainly unexpected. Dan, do you know when we should prove Edgeworth is innocent? Oh, uh, next episode. Night, everyone. Let's do it. <laughs>